quality media is very hard filled to find, both the following and funding. But that hasn't stopped journalist Bambi Schellig from producing it on a regular basis for over a decade. Bambi's the editor of Eretz Acheret. That's Hebrew for a different country. So many people attempt to change opinions in society with their publications, but do not succeed. Eretz Acheret is making an impact, changing public agenda and influencing government policies. She joins us now live in our studio to tell us what it takes to make media that matters. Speaking about just the magazine itself, is there a particular beat that you follow or? No, we, 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 are, we are doing two things. We check out who are the sectors who are living here. What do people believe in? What are their values? What are their pains? And what are their dreams? Mm -hmm. And the second thing is we want uh, Israeli society to recover. And so we say, if we want to recover, what are the subjects that we have to deal with? And so we pick subjects that we think are of crucial importance, and we make of them an issue. Every issue is on a theme. And what are some of these issues, these hot topics? Like in your last, in your, your in last, last issue, what was? <laughs> Our last issue was on physicalness. OK. Um, because we see that. In our world, you have like a battle between uh, the commercial uh, relation to the body and the fundamentalistic uh, um, relation to the body. And they both are in a terrible quarrel. Mm -hmm. And in the middle are the rest of the population who actually don't know where to go. The court yes. in between both. So we made an issue about this about what's the problem, why does it look like that, okay. and what do we think about it. So yes. it's a very, uh, I think. It's quite it, broad and yes. touches a lot of different sectors. Yes, Nahon. We, we speak not only about Israeli society of Jews, we speak also about the fundamentalistic relation in Islam to women and also the fundamentalistic relation of orthodoxy to the body of women oh, and so on diverse. and on the other side we look at the exploitation of uh, the uh, human body by uh, the commercial uh, um, tasia, um, commercial realm yes uh, which is also disgusting a major major problem <laughs> in this day and age definitely uh, what for you was um, the most the, the article that, that had the most impact in Israeli society. Oh, we made a lot of these, but perhaps there was a special issue that we made that had really a great impact. Uh, we made, I think, almost four years ago, uh, a total edition that dealt with uh, um, the fact that in Israel passed a law that uh, gave the opportunity to start a private prison. Okay. And. Uh, we wanted to understand how this law passed without any public discussion. Mm -hmm. And so also there were some people who went to the highest court and uh, they asked uh, to deal with uh, the possibility to annul the law. Okay. And we made a whole issue on this prison business. Yeah, so you brought it to the Nahon, forefront of... To the forefront and actually we succeeded and a month ago <laughs> Oh, they wow, are okay. The, they are now below. Wow, Mazel Tov. Well, That's thank you very really much. big. Yes, thank you That's very fantastic. much. And what for you was your most memorable article that you wrote for the, oh. the magazine? I wrote an article about the media that I think that was important. Okay. And uh, it was about uh, my feeling that the media is actually uh, dealing in, it's, it's actually destroying our world. Because Israeli or as a as a whole okay. in the whole West I think we don't deal mostly with our real issues we deal with issues that bring rating mm -hmm. so we are actually not dealing with our life but with the question who is going to make profit yeah. of a certain issue so if we speak about Israel we'll get a lot of uh, and this is Something that I found out in my work is that uh, um, uh, 
there is a non-holy covenant between extremism and writing. Okay. So we get to know the extremes of all the sectors and we actually don't have a clear notion of the majority of the society. Okay. So the writing and the extremes are having a great profit out of this situation, but the society is just fading. Yeah, with the ring away behind <laughs> so, all of it. So uh, this is a, a very bad situation. Do you think the media, what, where do you think the media is going to go in the future now with, you know, the internet, blogging, is that going to change the power balance? I don't think so. I think that if democratic uh, societies won't make a real pass in order to create a media that is not for profit, they won't be democratic anymore. Okay because someone is going to manipulate the conversation. And so and this, this is what happens mostly, most of the time. But back to your magazine, where is the future of Eretz Acheret going? Uh, I, we, we have already, well, we have great, <laughs> big, uh, how you say, expectations. Yes. <laughs> so um, we, we want not only to have our bi-monthly edition, but we have dreams about uh, a weekly magazine in the web, in Hebrew, in English, and in Arabic. Yeah, because sounds exciting. Yeah, we think that our real conversation is so interesting, and uh, we don't have it. And from inside and from outside, there is this need, explain yourself. So let's talk about ourselves. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the profound issues they are very interesting. In my journey in Israeli society, I found out such wonderful stories. We it's have true. here actually the best of human knowledge. And it's a mix the diverse. best of human experience. Okay. And we don't know about it because through the media we are so poor. We are always, um, how you say, um, we are always in a place where we have to defend ourselves for being guilty. Jews are always guilty. Mm -hmm. So, Israel. and it's when the West doesn't know where to go, or when the East doesn't know where to go. So here are the Jews to blame for. And so uh, instead, so I think that uh, we have to do something with our image. Definitely, definitely, uh, and have more cross-cultural communications. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us, Bambi. It was a pleasure having Thank you. you.